Howdy and welcome back. I'm on the Ritter Road going to Lyston Fort. My suspicions seem to hold merit. Uh, so the Army Road. So I think it's this way? I think she said the leftmost path. Uh, Lyston Fort. Woo! I was right. So now we're going to Lyston Fort to confront them about the picture of the, um, uh, of the aircraft, the craft, that was, um, uh, related to the kidnapping of the professor. Hurricane! Cha -cha 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 -cha. Cool, we killed one. Ah, they're making so many! But the poison! The poison! It's so upsetting. Everything's upsetting. Don't mind me. Live in this dog eat dog world. <laughs> At least I resist. Oh my god! <laughs> Am I resisting much if I'm dead? Actually, no, that's not true. You resist everything when you're dead. Nothing can affect you anymore! <laughs> that's a really bad outlook on life. Huh? Yeah! It's fine. I got this covered. I got this covered. Some's dead. No! <laughs> You're not allowed to kill him. We're good to go. Interesting. Let's do that again. <laughs> We're good to go. Here we go. Yay, he's awake. Da 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 da. Da 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 da, it's dead. Cool. Uh, this way. No, it's just a straight shot. Yeah, life's in fortress. I got a terror bomb. Ha, <laughs> neat. <laughs> Considering how many I've been using. Hey, you know what? You want to fight? Da 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 da. Barrage! Oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's poison too! Ha! Dude. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Da 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 I'm gonna do this. Cool beans, ow. Ow. There, you're dead now. Stop. Stop, it hurts. <laughs> you're mean. You look super duper mean. Cool. Uh, what? Ah! <laughs> I didn't know it was a monster. What? You know what? In all honesty, what else could it have been? <laughs> that was stupid on my part. Like super double dog stupid. All right. All right, we're good to go. I take ref I take full responsibility for my peer. <laughs> <laughs> My pure stupidity. Uh, let's use in our item collection a tear bomb. Cool. And then again. Uh, that actually begs an interesting question. How many do I have? I have five. Wow. Wow. Neat. Uh, thinking some intent. Intent. Intense thinking. Come on. Come on. Ow. Hey, I resisted it. Hmm, <laughs> neat. Ow. You just. I guess I resist all kinds of poisons, apparently. Oh, good. You know what? You die next. Ow. Stupid. <laughs> Ow. 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 Oh my god! Stop! You guys suck. No! Uh, that's unexpected. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, am I actually going to die to filled enemies? Stop. <laughs> Stop! Oh my god! 
Uh, uh, I almost died to field enemies. I don't feel good about that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. I'll just have to return back to uh, the guild and turn in my... Oh, it's the same amount! It's like super duper the same amount! It's not okay! I don't like this! <laughs> you have to die! <laughs> oh my goodness. There, it's almost dead. It's like Zuper almost dead. You're the one that keeps summoning friends, and I don't like you for it. What happened? <laughs> there we go. See, you're doing better. You're still knocked out, but you're doing better. <laughs> You're like physically okay. Mentally, we don't know. Ow! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, so close. Yet so far. Just now occurred to me one of the reasons why I'm probably dying so easily against these bunch. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> don't worry, I can offset this. Ah! Ha! <laughs> it's okay. It's alright. See? I'm fine. Ow. Ow. Wow, I wasn't knocked out for very long. Yay. Alright, let's do some more healing. Oh my goodness. Oh, and I have one? Wow, I really used those up, didn't I? Because that's the best I could do right now. Oh my goodness. Fortress is still so far away. I am- Oh my god, there's a lot! <laughs> that is a bunch. It's a bunch. It's... Oh my goodness. <laughs> How these punches of enemies. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> I deeply apologize. Oh, he broke my art. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Hurricane. Does the best. Yay! Cool. I must kill this stupid thing. Yeah. It's dead and stuff. All the way over here. Yay! Oh, come on! Am I going to die to field enemies again? Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna let myself die because I didn't do this very well. Yeah, see, it's fine. See, I'm good. See, I don't mind the fact that I just died to field enemies. Uh, instead of an art, I'm gonna use morale. That's fine. You guys can do that if you wish. Da, 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 da. My focus should be Mr. Sp Mr. Mr. Cobra, dude. Because he's gonna try and summon more. I'm blind. And I'm in pain. Oh, cool. I kind of expected that. It's fine. As long as I kill him first, everything will be smooth sailing. Never mind. <laughs> Enemies are hard here, man. Speaking of which, I just died, man. Alright, the game is suddenly like, uh, he's having a hard time, so let's just make it a little easier. All right, cool. Seems like a nice, a nice idea. Really appreciate it too. It's like it's the little things, you know. Come on. Ow. <sighs> I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> I was 
a useless endeavor. All right, bye. <laughs> Ooh, neat music. Wow, check out the size of this base. It's gotta be several times as big as the Hacking Gate, don't you think? Yeah, you may be right. I mean, apparently, er, it was apparently the primary base of the counteroffensive in the war ten years ago. Oh, okay, that's pretty impressive. Well, let's go inside and see if we can talk to whoever is in charge. Hmm. What is it? Nothing. It's just that you're not acting like your usual timid self. You're starting to remind me of Dad. Oh, come on. It's not like I'm not nervous. But after General Morgan, how bad can it be? <laughs> I guess you're right. I wonder if he's still at the Hacking Gate. Oh boy, we're gonna go inside. I'm not looking forward to it, because I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a battle and I'm gonna die. It's my own damn fault. Keep running away from fights because I'm scared. Huh? There's no one here. That's strange. There's usually a gatekeeper outside, at least. Identify yourselves. Um, where'd that come from? Probably a speaker. This is Lysid Fortress HQ of Liberal's Royal Armed Forces. This place is off limits to civilians. I'm afraid you're going to have to leave. Hmm, they sound polite, but yeah, I think they're just being extra cautious. <sighs> Can you two hear me? Sorry, but we're not civilians. We're from the Racer Guild. We're here to discuss the matter of the Central Lab being attacked. Can we please speak with the individual in charge? Are you actually bracers then? If you don't believe us, you can inspect our implements. You could see them, right? Hmm. Indeed, you appear to be genuine article. However, I regret to inform you that the CEO of this base is currently away. Perhaps you can come back another day. No commanding officer? Well, that sounds sloppy. In that case, anyone from the Intelligence Division will be fine. We have information that must be, must go to either Colonel Richard or Captain Am uh, Amathia. Hmm. Very well. Wait there. Phew. It's like pulling teeth with these guys. Yeah, I wasn't expecting security to be quite this tight around here. Whoa! Well, someone's here at least. Hello. Please forgive me for making you wait. I am Major Sid, Garrison Commander of Lyston Fortress. I'm still Bright, of the Bracer Guild. And I'm Joshua Bright, also of the Bracer Guild. Bright. Is something wrong? N nothing. Pardon me. On to business. You mentioned y the attack on the Central Labs. I'm very sorry, but no one from the Intelligence Division is currently here. If you would have a message, I can deliver it for you. Hmm, that could be a problem. Okay, time to shake things up. We caught the people who attacked the lab. We've confirmed the whereabouts of Professor Russell. We have a lead on an airship tied to the crime. Huh. <sighs> and here we found a lead on the airship that took away the professor. You what? What? Why do you look so surprised, Major? Oh, it, it's nothing. We've just been searching for it, too. So, what is this lead, anyway? Take a look at this. Hand it over to Dorothy's photograph. This. This is Lyston Fortress, isn't it? How did you get this picture? Now, now. No need to get worked up. Look at the top right corner of that picture. Let's see. What the? That's obviously not the silhouette of a military patrol ship, is it? And it's a spitting image of the airship that took away the professor. Indeed. This is a grave matter. 
Thank you for your cooperation. I'll send a report to the Intelligence Division straight away. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. Is that it? Is what it? I mean, don't you think this is weird? Why would the suspect's ship be hanging around here? It's embarrassing to admit. But I'm afraid that it's entirely my fault. We have been aggressively searching along the border, so security wasn't so tight at home as it should have been. And if this airship fled to the north, it's possible that this whole matter may have been a plot by the Empire. R really? Hmm. I'd like to know just one thing. Where exactly are all of the intelligence personnel right now? That's classified. I'm sorry. I can't say more. Okay, now, maybe it's just me, but don't you think this all kind of smells a little funny? I know. Without any concrete evidence, pursuing this lead won't do us any good. Yeah. Huh? What the? W what? Why did it stop short? What? Did that phenomenon start up again? Joshua, that's... Yeah. I think that's exactly what we needed. It, it seems I've let you see us at our worst. It looks like the gate mechanism isn't in the best condition. Indeed, that's a real problem. Maybe you should, uh, maybe you could get some folks from the central labs out to repair it. I'll bet that someone like Professor Russell could have it good as new in no time. Y yes, I'll keep that in mind. You two maintain post here until it's back in working order. Be sure to keep any careless civilians away. Sir, yes sir. Understood, sir. That said, you two can be on your way. I'll be certain to take that photograph to intelligence. Now, if you'll pardon me. That's all we needed. That means that they have the Black Orbman in stock. Somehow? I find it hard to believe a word that guy said. Especially if that little malfunction we just saw is what I think it is. Yes, it was probably that same phenomenon. Which would mean the professor is being held prisoner inside. Shh, Estelle. This isn't the place to be discussing that. Uh, okay. For now, let's get back to Zeiss and see what Kilika has to say. If we have the chance, we can call for the lab chief. Uh, am I being teleported? Uh, it seems I, uh, I've been teleported. Hey, I get to see the mic. <laughs> I just can't believe that Professor Russell is at Lyston Fortress. Are you absolutely certain? Miss Dorothy's photograph and the shutdown of orbital power in the gate. These two things combined make the conclusion inescapable. But, but the Central Factory and the Royal Army have always had excellent relations. And now I'm expected, uh, I'm expected to believe this? It's not as if the internal command uh, structure of the military is all run by a single entity. The people who attacked the factory were seen escaping, and they looked like royal guardsmen. That in itself is a clue. Oh, and that would mean... Uh, the business with the royal guardsmen is unrelated. The royal guardsmen are behind the whole thing. The world's guardmen are being set up. The world's guardmen are behind the whole thing? Well, it's not outside the realm of possibility. I think it's more likely that there's been some kind of frame-up. This may be some form of internal conspiracy within the Royal Army. Hmm. This is unpleasant to think about. But how could the Professor get caught up in something like this? Sounds like you found a lead on our friendly neighborhood criminals. I have the feeling <laughs> that this game was not made for this kind of widescreen, and that was supposed to be a big, ah, egg, it's fine, but it kind of ruined it because he's on screen currently. Whoa, egg, it's good to see you back on your feet. Yeah. I just woke up a few minutes ago. It was a little weird waking up in a strange place after being put to bed like some baby. 
Oh, for the love of... Everyone's worried about you, alright? Are you sure you're okay with moving around so soon? Yeah. Sleeping so damn much didn't give me any more, uh, any other option than to recover. I'm feeling pretty much back to normal. B but, Igit, you should probably rest some more. You just got the potion, uh, the po potion, the poison out of your system, and the doctor said. I said, uh, I just said I'm fine. I've been training for years, it's not that rough on someone like me. Hmm. Alright, alright, I get it. I won't overdo it or anything until I'm back to normal. That cool with you? <laughs> okay. Damn kids. <laughs> Even the mighty Agit is no match for Tita. I guess it's hard to say no to someone who's kept a con cons constant vigil over you and nursed you back to, n to health. Ah, shut up. Getting back to the point. Looks like a lot's been happen- been going- bleh! Going on while I've been out of commission. Mind fill me in on the details? Sure. Estelle explains that all signs pointed to Professor Russell being held at, uh, captive at Lyson Fortress. I still can't believe that Grandpa's in there. I wouldn't have thought those good uh, those goons in the la uh, black clothes were army types either. <laughs> and suddenly. I'm feeling better than ever. What say we go with settle our debts right now? Settle our debts? Ain't it obvious? We sneak into Lyson Fortress. We'll bust the professor out. And they'll never know what hit. Uh, I, okay. Like, settling everything in one big stroke. I'm afraid it's not that simple. Huh? The Bracer Guild has a long-standing policy of non-intervention when it comes to a na nation's military. Article 3 of the Guild Code, Bracers and non-involvement uh, non in military or political matters. The Bracer will recognize a nation's so uh, sovereign sovereignty uh, and may not interfere with our arrest in... Uh, nor arrest any person or of national but why are words hard all of a sudden come on <laughs> and any not it wait it may not interfere i went back and continued to read it wrong <laughs> a bracer will recognize the nation's sovereignty and may not interfere with nor arrest any person of national military or political standing or to put it more simply as long as the army is playing dumb about this, our hands are tied. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No way! That doesn't make sense! You mean that we can witness a crime, but it's, but if it's done by a soldier or a po politician, we just have to pretend we didn't see anything? Essentially, yes. There is, however, a loophole. Article 2 of the Guild Code, Bracers and their duty to the people. In the event of unjust uh, imperilment uh, of citizens, the Bracer's sworn duty is to bear the responsibilities for the citizen's safety. Do you understand the significance of this? I see. The, professor not a, the professor's not a politician or a soldier. He's a citizen whom we're sworn to protect. S so then, the rest hinges upon you, Mr. Murdoch. In this case... We are obligated to oppose the royal army and any prof and save Professor Russell. Will you help us? Stupid question. The fa uh, the factory needs him. Ah, hell. Oh, the little barrel needs him. Go and get him. Mr. Murdoch, thank you, thank you, thank you! No need to thank me. I owe Professor Russell for all he's taught me. And so we have adequate justification to proceed. Bracers Agate, Estelle, and Joshua. You are hereby ordered to proceed to Lyson Fortress and rescue Professor Russell. It is not as above board as you, uh, the, you may be accustomed, but it is a request of the Bracer Guild nevertheless. Now you're talking. Acknowledged. <laughs> Bring it on. If we're doing this, we have to figure out how we're getting in there. 
Lysa Fortress is pretty damned famous for being impossible to break into. That's true. It's easy to say we're going to do it, but putting it into practice is going to take some serious planning. There has to be some sort of, uh, some way of getting inside. Unfortunately, the security there is nigh unto imper- nigh unto perfect <sighs> words! Approaching from the lake would likely be impossible since it's monitored by a network of orbital sensors. Heh, <laughs> figured as much. And a frontal assault would be tantamount to suicide. Hey, Mr. Murdoch? You know that orange airship that goes to Lyston Fortress? Yes, that's the Lebnitz. It makes periodic stops to inspect the equipment at the fort to make sure it's performing uh, properly. Is there any way we could sneak into the fortress on it? No, all the crew members go through it through a thorough security check as soon as they land. It'd be impossible to just sneak away. How about stowing away in the cargo? No good. Each container is scanned with the biosensor for li for living creatures, and they check each and every one. Plus, the sensors were designed by Professor Russell himself. They can even pick up one's li uh, one little mouse and a huge mass of sta stuff. Hmm. Well, damn. Oh! What is it, sweetie? Don't you remember? Grandpa's invention from when I was showing you around? Let me think. Aha! When we were helping with the experiments on a new type of orbment, right? Yeah! It produces a force field that can disrupt the biosensors. We've already tested that it works, so everything will be fine. W really? I had no idea the professor had ever made anything like that. Where's this evidence? Er, this device then? I guess it must be right where we right where he left it. In his laboratory. Then we have no time to lose. Hurry and achieve this. Er, acquire. Acquire. I'm going with acquire. <laughs> and then, in the meantime, I will gather the, uh, and collate whatever data I can on Lyston Fortress. Got it. Thanks. I'll leave the arrangements of the deliv delivery via the Lebnitz to you, Mr. Murdoch. Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'll talk to Gustav. Gustav? Just come to the, uh, airfield when you're ready. Speaking of which, I must report my quest. I got 3,000 Mira. Welcome back. It looks like you finished your job. And then I go over here. I'm gonna try out that product testing bullshit again and see if I've done enough. Because I'm pretty sure after the story ad <laughs> after the story advances past this point, I won't be able to do it again. Hey, what's up? All right. It'll just let me examine it. Hmm. I hate you. I hate you so much. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, it's so agonizing. Oh, it's just. Oh, it's agonizing. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Uh, it doesn't tell me anything. I'm super upset. Alvastragas. Angry. That's all I can think. I, that's all I can say is just I'm angry. I'm super duper angry. All right. Well, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't matter. It does matter. It's the end of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more of my content, please subscribe and also press yo ring that bell. I'm trying to get used to saying ring that bell instead of press that bell. It it. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, yes, pre uh, ring that bell for all damn notifications. Uh, next time, I'm gonna go. Uh, well, right now, I'm going to go to the general goods store and buy back all of my Tira Bobs I've used. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to, uh, Professor Russell's place and see if that machine is still there. Not of Mira. How? dare you. Fine, I'll just do that much. 
I can do two more. Cool. That was a lot. That was a bunch. That was a whole heck of a bunch. Um. Okay, bye! <laughs>